events, what we need to understand when we're looking at them is to understand which limit definition we are talking about. Because remember, the limit definition is all really based on, um, we're either two of them, we're actually evaluating the derivative at a given value, and then the third one was just taking the derivative uh, of our value. So in this case, if we have, you guys remember the limit definition of x as h goes to 0, we had f of c plus h minus f of c all over h. That was the limit definition. That was a rule. That was formula that I gave you guys. This is a limit definition of a derivative right here. And basically what that was saying is find f prime of c. That's really what this is asking. So what we need to understand is, well, what is our function then? In this example, what exactly are we taking the derivative of? Well, our function in this problem, my f of x, you could say, is going to be ln of x. And then what is my value c in this case? My value c over here is going to be e. That's my c. So really, what I'm doing is taking f prime of e. So the derivative of ln of x is 1 over um, x, which is really just going to be 1 over e. Yes? Can it be ln of c? Nope. It's um, c is going to be your value. So this, this is the same thing as f prime of c. Okay. Let's write it like that. That's what that means. Okay? Then there was another limit definition that we.